How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to automate the setup for creating a ID card or badge using Adobe InDesign and Data Merge. So I have a three and a half or three and three quarter by five and a half inch ID card or ID badge. This is going to be one of those ones that you punch a hole at the top and then you hang uh, around your neck with a lanyard. Basically it's just the company logo, the photo of the individual, their name, their job title, a barcode that's going to be scannable that basically just contains their ID number, an issue date, expiration date, and then level access, let's say to a five-story building. They can only access certain uh, levels. I'll show you how to basically put these little X's over areas where they're not allowed to go uh, to gain access to. So if I close this out I'm gonna start off with my Excel file here and if you're not too familiar with how to create or how to do a data merge basically you're gonna to need to create a CSV file um, comma delimited text file or tab delimited text file will work also I use Excel you can use Google Sheets anytime you want to use or have a reference to a uh, photo or uh, image you have to put the little at symbol at the beginning of that column that way InDesign will understand it's not a text uh, field it's going to be a link or reference to either a, a photo or a PDF or something else uh, like that so I have a column here for the name their title the photo again that I have the um, at symbol this is going to be a link to a, a, uh, or a reference to a picture that I downloaded that I have saved in a folder. I'll show that in just a second. The person's ID number and then the barcode. And if you watch my video, my last video talking about how to create the barcodes um, with uh, data merge, you have to put the asterisks at the beginning or at the end of the um the record here that way it'll make the barcode actually scannable then I have the issue date and the expiration date and then these are the little access levels so if a, let's say a person has access to all five levels like this person does there'll be no X's or like this person they only have uh, access to level one but none of the other four so when you get uh, once you have the data all set up then you're gonna save this as a CSV and then what I did here was I placed that CSV directly in this photos folder that contains all the photos here that are uh, referenced in this column. The reason being is that when you set this up with InDesign, it's going to look in the same corresponding folder that you create your data from, or you're going to have to put an absolute reference to it somewhere on your hard drive. So in this case, the easiest way to do it is to just drop this in the same folder. That way it doesn't have to have the extra um, uh, reference to wherever the folder is or the, wherever the uh, uh, file is, is linked to. So the other uh, things I have here are just a background Photoshop file, a logo that you saw from the uh, PDF, and then all, obviously all of the... Uh, uh, photos and then the CSV file. So if I pop open my InDesign template here, I've set this up in a few different layers. I have one for the background, which is just this little green image, text in the photos, which includes the logo, the photo, and then all of the uh, fields for the, the text file, and then this little level access and basically what I've done here is I've created boxes, five different boxes. Let me zoom out a little bit. I have five different boxes that are colored with a, a number. And then on top of it, I've placed a text box that's going to include that X that you saw from the, um, uh, the Excel file. So if I zoom back out here, if I go into my data merge, I've already selected my data, but 
once you, if you're doing this from scratch you would go to select data source you would find your CSV file and select it and once you do that it'll come up with a list of all the different columns that existed in your data source so fo for photo you can see that it's not a T next to next to the um, column header it's a, uh, a little picture here and that's basically because we put that at symbol it understands that or InDesign understands that it's going to be a reference to a, uh, a picture file of some kind everything else is just text including the barcode the barcode is using the three of nine barcode font and if you if you want go back and watch my other video I go into it in a little bit more detail but if I click on preview real quick and I go back to the first record this is the PDF that I created and showed you at the beginning of the video if I hit my W key I'm just gonna basically go to the preview mode and if I cycle through these you can see that the person's name their photo all of their information is going to change as well as this little access level here and so this is where the little X is going to go on top of these boxes and as you can see I cycle through different people have different access levels it also has their photo their name and everything I only have 10 records obviously if you were doing this you could do it for you know a hundred a thousand whatever you wanted to but basically that's it so if I cycle through everything here you can see as long as I have that barcode font selected the barcode is changing as well with the person's um, ID number and then when you're ready to go all you have to do is go up to export to PDF or you can do a um, actually create a merge document if you need to make further edits or if you just want to create a, a, a separate InDesign file from it I'm just going to go up to export to PDF I'm going to do all records and I'll just hit OK Hit export and I'll just call this underscore two it's going to give you an overset text warning because some of the items are pushed down here but that's actually just because the field names are so big so I'll hit OK it'll run through here tell me no overset text was generated and then if I zoom out I now have whoops I now have a 10 page PDF file where everything has been automatically created for me and now I can go ahead and I can send this over to to the printer to be printed the advantage of doing it this way is obviously if you have a lot of ID cards that you have to make all at one time you can simply dump all of the information into an Excel file create your data and then use InDesign to basically assemble the whole project together and then export it as a PDF so that you can send it off to the printer that's basically it um, pretty simple way of doing it the hardest part is just setting up the data and then obviously setting up your template once you're ready to go it's really just a, a one-click step and process uh, using data merge which is uh, fantastic you know if you use InDesign if you have any questions please leave them down below I'm happy to answer but as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.